Legends. A little bit of a tour life update at the moment. Uh, you can see I'm here in pretty sweet park here in NZ, basically a week in. And surprisingly, no shows yet. There was a delay with the Spiegel tent being delivered. So they actually had to cancel the first four shows. It's currently being put up at the moment. Hasn't been the worst thing because we've had a little bit more time to rehearse and the tech prep has been a little less rushed, which is never a bad thing. Furthermore, I've just kind of had plenty of time to get adjusted, to hang out, to have lots of great food and coffee, and basically to hang out with the band and the crew, which has been super lovely. Auckland's awesome. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's an incredibly clean city as well. I thought Perth was relatively clean, but I see so much less kind of litter and rubbish around here. Everyone has been incredibly nice as well, even just going through the airport, you know, it was all kind of like, oh, you're from Australia. Yeah, bro. All good. Come on through. Uh, <laughs> there was one person who sort of walked into the wrong line on an area and, uh, you know, in any other part of the world, the security would get pretty cross with them. And the security guard just kind of came up and said, uh, hey, boss, you look a bit lost. I think you want to go down there. So, uh, yeah, very much living up to the friendly reputation that Kiwis have. Uh, we've been treated really, really well. There was an amazing uh, porphyry sort of ceremony to welcome all the artists, which was definitely a new thing for me. That was really, really amazing. The singing and the ceremony and the sort of food afterwards, the sort of formal and informal parts, hearing everybody projecting their voices and singing together was pretty phenomenal. That was, that was an experience I don't think I will ever forget. I got to meet up with my buddy, Warren Mendoza, hang out with Warren, went to his place, beautiful, played with all the toys in the studio. I learnt so many cool tricks in such a small amount of time from Warren, who's not only an incredible player, but just one of the sweetest people I think you'll ever meet. And Warren's currently releasing music as Black Strat Blues. Troy and I had Warren on the podcast, so you should definitely go and check that episode out because Warren shares a lot of those tips and tricks there. And he also cooked me one of the best curries I have ever had in my life. It was so, so good. So uh, Warren, if you're watching this, I can't wait to hang out again. Thank you so much. I also got to catch up with Justin Derrico earlier today. So I was trying to catch up with Justin when Pink was in Perth and I had to fly out for this show. I didn't even know Pink was playing here, but they're playing tonight and tomorrow. So I got a bit of time to hang out and have a coffee, talk gear, talk fractal, all those kind of things. So Justin's running the Axe FX for his electric and his Piezo pickups and seems to be loving it, which is super cool. So, and Justin was just a great dude to hang out with. So, uh, yeah, so many lovely people here, the band and the crew, the Bernie show as well are just wonderful. We've been having plenty of fun hangs and I'm really, really excited to play. I'm kind of getting itchy. I really just want to tear into some playing. I've bought the Rubato Lassie and my Fractal FM9. I did a rig rundown for the FM9 and I'm borrowing a PRS CE24. So shout out to PRS and to Rock Shop New Zealand for letting me borrow that one. Might put up some playing at the end of this with the CE24. I'm just kind of wrapping my fingers around it. And if I get time, I might do a little review video while I've got it. I've got it for this particular stint. It's going to be hard not to buy that one on there. And I'm definitely going to have to use some stabilization on this video because my hand's shaking from having it up. But yeah, little tour update. I will be doing some more vlogs and share some footage of the shows once we get going on. This is actually getting ridiculous. My hand can't hold it anymore. But uh, again, wow, that was quite a noise. Uh, <laughs> again, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel, everybody who continues to watch and like the videos, to my amazing patrons, and to everybody who's taken the time to check out the music that I make with my band Ragdoll. I'll be sharing some more clips from our recent Melbourne show over the next week or so. Be safe, be good to one another, go and make some glorious guitar noises, and I'll uh, see you on the next little vlog. Mm -hmm.